Hello guys. We are back in action. I found my real camera, my more professional camera that I've always used. I've been using my vlog camera, which I love, but this one's just better quality. I feel like most of my house at this point is unpacked, but the one thing that isn't is my beauty room, which is like the room that I really need the most. So I'm like stuck using the same makeup and everything that I had. And I was like, you know what, this is it. I need new year. I need to whip out my old camera and get back in the swing of things. So I'm actually in the process of designing my new beauty room. So I'm so excited for that because I just need my spot to kind of like disappear to and you know, get inspired again. So I'm gonna do like a get ready with me video today. I have a bridal shower. So I figured let's film that. And then I just kind of wanted to like chat and let's just talk about kind of like what's been going on um, on this end. I just got out of the shower. So I just applied my normal um, face cream and I did just get back from Mexico had such a good time um, so I have a little bit of a tan but it's already starting to fade so I'm mixing my uh, Giorgio Armani six and a half and my Fiona Styles four because again I have just like a very small amount of makeup that I had unpacked. The rest is like, I'll show you guys a snippet of what my beauty room looks like right now. If you were me, you would understand why I don't even really step foot in there because I have nothing to put everything away in. Hopefully within the next couple months, hopefully in the next two to three months realistically, but who knows, um, we'll get that all handled. If you hear someone chomping on a bone, it's candy by my feet. I feel like a lot of my makeup that I'm using is like old and probably expired and I'm not like a huge believer in the expiration dates on makeup like I definitely go way past expiration dates but I feel like I'm gonna I don't know like go take a Sephora trip and just replenish some of the goods because it's been a minute Lorenzo hit me like head butted me in the nose he was like running to me to give me a hug and I feel like it like, you know when you hear it crunch? I heard it crunch and uh, I feel like my nose looks swollen. So, where to even begin? So I feel like the past three, I guess like really three-ish years, I've gone through like some really like traumatic shit that obviously I really haven't talked about but I really am starting to see, I'd like to call it the tail end of it because I'm in therapy and I'm working on everything, but like I kind of just like held so much in for so long, just thinking that I was like okay and like didn't want to deal with everything. And now I feel like, not really now, like the past couple of weeks, I feel like it's like really come to a head. And I feel like mental health is not talked about enough. And I just started um, with a new therapist I think in November, and so far I'm really happy with her, but I feel like I'm just starting to like really figure out myself, and um, it's an ongoing journey. It's something that's gonna just continue for probably ever, and I just started reading a new book because I was like, I find myself at night, I'm like on my phone or watching, I don't even really watch TV, let me not say that because I used to, but I really don't. But I just find myself like lost on my phone right before bed and I really want to use that time to start reading again, which I used to do all the time. I was on my iBooks or books or whatever it's called on my phone last night looking for recommendations for like some sort of book because I wanted to try something new and I came across... I just did the sample of it. How to Meet Yourself, the workbook for self-discovery by Dr. Nicole LaPera. So I did the sample and I really was enjoying it. And there's a lot of like different workbook stuff. So I actually looked up and there's a Barnes and Noble by me. I'm gonna go pick up the real like paperback book because I wanna try and do like the exercises that she recommends. And I feel like with an, a book on your phone, it just, it's hard to stay 
all there because then if you get a text or an email or something like it's it quickly gets thrown off so I'm gonna go pick up the hard copy of that one I want to read you like a quick excerpt that like I was like okay when I film tomorrow I'm gonna read this and you know maybe recommend it although I haven't read it yet it just seems like something up my alley so and within every human are habits that chop us in cycles of misery pain and self-destruction within each of us is also the ability to show up every day leaving behind those habits that no longer serve us and stepping into the highest versions of ourselves. Within each of us is the ability to trust ourselves enough to leave dysfunctional relationships and find a safe and secure love. Within each of us is the ability to alchemize our trauma and begin to live a life of purpose. Within each of us is the ability to feel confident and empowered as we begin to consciously create a life on our own terms. And that just like spoke to me and I'm really excited to get started on this book. If anyone has any books that they love, that they recommend, feel free to drop them below, not only just for me, but for anyone that's looking for a new self-help or just self-discovery type of book. You know, with this day and age, with social media and just how the world is, like, it's so easy to get lost and to compare and, and to just, like, feel alone. And I think that's, like, the furthest thing from the truth. I think all of us are all struggling with something and... We need to group together and, you know, share things that we learn and share things that have helped us that way, you know, we can pass on like the wealth. So I really have a lot of goals for myself for the new year that I've like written down and that I really want to stick with. Um, because I feel like I'm always, I'm the type of person where I put everybody else before me and I've always like struggled with like why people are always taking advantage of me and like I can't find like a healthy relationship and I realize that because I'm not putting any of that effort and energy and love into myself, I'm just constantly like giving it out, giving it out, giving it out and I feel like I finally reached the point where I have like nothing left to give and I need to just like refill my own cup. So, can you please know honey? So... Yeah, that's like where I'm at right now. So I guess with every new year comes a new chance or, you know, like a real opportunity to start fresh. And, um, you know, my friend had posted something on her story and I never thought of it this way, but it's like, if you follow nature, like the new year, everything is, well, where I live, it's, the, it's winter. So everything is like in hibernation, everything has died and like rebirth happens in the spring. So something along the lines like that, why people fail at their, you know, New Year's resolutions, um, because it's not in tune with nature. And then that actually really resonated with me because I'm like, it makes sense. Like, you know, we think new year, we think new opportunities. And I feel like you just need a lot of willpower um, to stay focused, which is hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard for anybody. Um, but give yourself a break. Like if you find that you're setting new goals and it's not working or it's not sticking right away, like just know that, you know, the spring is also another new chance for new beginnings, a fresh start as well. So I feel like small goals is the goal, especially for me, instead of like being so overwhelmed with all these things that I feel like I need to do. Um, I'm just going to do small, like little goals for myself. And that way I can feel proud about like the little things. And I feel like a lot of people, like including myself, like don't like to talk about things that they're going through or how they're feeling because they don't want to be like a burden or, you know, sometimes even I feel like who am I to complain when there's people that are dealing with much worse. But just because your problems might not be as big as other people's problems doesn't mean that they don't matter and that they, they don't need to be... Um, like confronted. That's one thing that I am working on as well. And uh, yeah, I just figured that would be a little topic I wanted to bring up today. I figured I can, you know, dive into different subjects without, you know, like there's certain things that I've not, that I haven't talked about for a reason. Um, and I've mentioned that those reasons before, but that doesn't mean I can't talk about like, you know, how I got through certain situations without you know, sharing too much details. I think privacy is really important, especially for me because I do share so much of my life and I have for the past 12 years, 12 and a half years now. 
So it's really important for me to have like my privacy, um, but that doesn't mean that I can't share like how I got through certain situations. So that's one thing that I definitely want to do more of in the new year because one thing that I've learned and one thing that I've known from day one is that like we are all struggling, we're all going through shit together and any piece of advice, no matter where you get it from, when you get it from, can be so beneficial and just by little things that I've shared throughout the years, I, I've seen your comments and I know how it's helped you as well and it helps me by talking about it and just knowing that I can help even if it's one person and that's that's always been my motto like my slogan of life has been like aspire to inspire and um you know I just want to get back more into that so I actually have to leave I have like an hour so I'm gonna do my eyebrows without talking because otherwise I'm gonna be here for like six hours so I thought it would be fun to share some things that I wish I knew earlier in life, now that I'm in my 30s, you know, some things that I've learned and um, would like to share. I'm gonna first start by saying the first thing is that social media is not real life. We are now in such a different place than we were like 10 years ago. When I was, you know, in middle school, high school, this was like the start of the internet really I feel like the younger generation especially like it's really it must be so hard growing up with social media like all up in your face like I always said like in middle school I can't even imagine if we had the things that they have today that constant comparison to everybody else and what they're doing it's so unhealthy but yet it's in your face all the time so as hard as it is to you know, put the phone down and not compare to other people. Just know that whatever, like for instance, the photo that's posted on Instagram, there were 40 of them that had to be taken to just get that one perfect photo. There's just so many things behind the scenes that you don't see, my life included, and I'm definitely guilty of it. You just show, like we're just showing the best of it. So before you go and compare yourself to your favorite influencer or your friend, on social media, just know that it's never as it seems. So many people are struggling. I would actually say that probably majority of people that you see online are struggling. And what, what they're struggling with, I don't know, but there's just, life is freaking hard. And just be kind to others because you don't know what people are going through. The next thing I wanted to mention is there's no timeline for things, and this is something that I have to keep reminding myself as well because, you know, when you're younger, you feel like there's, you know, certain goals and certain things you want to have for yourself at a certain age, whether it be career goal or a family goal, like a marriage, all that. And one thing that I've clearly learned is that there is no proper timeline. Everyone is going to do things on their own time, and that's okay and feeling that pressure is inevitable, but just give yourself a break and don't be so hard on yourself because it's all just made up, like that, that stress and that feeling of having to be someplace that you're not is just taking away from you living in the moment and just being like appreciative of where you're at. And one thing that I've noticed about me and one thing that I've like done for so long is like, you know, with everything that I've done and everything I've created, it was, I, I feel like I never really like sunk in in like the gratitude and the, um, like the celebration of things. It was like one thing would launch and then I'd be like, okay, what's next, what's next, what's next? And never like really live in the moment and like be proud of myself. And I don't want that for you guys. Like really try to soak in every minute and every accomplishment, even if it's just something as small as getting out of your bed and making it in the morning. Like, for some of you, you might be like, what is that, like, that's not an accomplishment, but like, even for me, that's an accomplishment. I realize that like, when I'm staying in bed or if I'm not making my bed or doing things like that, it's like, I know I'm not in a good place or if everything's like a mess more than usual, like I'm not that organized of a person, like I know I'm not in a great headspace. So really just try to live in the moment more and let yourself celebrate whatever it is that's going on whatever you want to celebrate it's okay and it's necessary choose your friends wisely they say the closest five people i think it is 
to you or who you become. And I think it's very true that the people you surround yourself with, you can't help but mesh with their energy and then their energy becomes yours. Like, I don't know if any of you guys have like ever hung out with somebody and they always said like a certain phrase and then all of a sudden you realize you started saying it and you don't even remember why or how. That's just like a little example of how, you know, people's mannerisms and just people's energy like really become you. And I have had different friends throughout the years and I feel like I'm finally at a place now where I only let people in my life that like I love their energy and I want to be around them and I'm inspired by them. Um, I had to let go of a lot of negative in my life in relationships whether it was personal or friend relationships and once you let go of that you will find yourself to be much happier. There is no reason that anyone should be holding you back or putting you down or just adding negative energy to your life. Listen, like, we're our own worst enemy. The last thing we need is a friend that's like a secret enemy as well. Like, just be careful who you surround yourself with and, you know, if you have a goal in mind and you have something that you want to be doing, like, surround yourself by like-minded people because they're going to inspire you and push you and motivate you even on the days that you feel like you can't do it for yourself. And that's so important, so, so, so important. And it's hard, like letting go of certain relationships. That's also been a big fault of mine because I felt bad. I'm not the best communicator. And sometimes, you know, you can feel stuck and not know how to like properly communicate an issue at hand. And um, I can just assure you that once you do let go, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. And it's gonna take a little bit of time and it's gonna be uncomfortable, but um, I feel like that's why I am 32 and single. Um, switching over to like personal relationships because I will not settle. I'd rather be alone than be in an unhappy, unhealthy relationship. And I don't need anybody. I need myself and my son. And I only want someone that's gonna add value to my life at this point in my life, so. As much as I yearn for a healthy, loving, amazing relationship, I'm also not gonna settle for one just because I need love or I want love, not need. Are you getting like all makeup now? Because I'm not really makeup. No, I'm gonna do like not crazy makeup. All right, question, ready? I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. One thing you wish you knew before you were 30, like in your 20s or like younger. Like one thing you know now in your 30s that you wish you knew sooner. Um, ooh, that's a really good question. It's never too late slash never too early to do the things you fucking love. Um, I love that. Really, I mean, just because think about it this way, like up until I was 31, 32, I was, like money, you know what? It's not always about money. Mm. Amen. It's not always about money. Because with like corporate, you know how I was making a lot of money? Yeah. I was so miserable. Like money didn't buy my happiness. Like the happiness has to come from within and then the money can enhance it. Yeah. Okay. Right? But it's not gonna make you happy. Love like that. My, my 20s into my early 30s, like you too, it's like just very like career driven, career focused. I love it. That's so true. You gotta, you gotta follow like your passion, not, not the dollar signs, because yeah, you're and just gonna be unfulfilled. Take care of your health. Yeah. Health is the most important thing. Yeah. Health and sanity. <laughs> I'm still trying to find my sanity. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can go into your thirties without really having it. that actually happens. Uh, <laughs> it can come. In, I feel like it can come and go at different stages. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, just do shit that makes you happy. Thank you for your words of advice. So I think like one other big one is like, as far as college and all that, you know, in your 20s or even earlier, after high school, you know, you're like forced to kind of figure out at that point what you want to do with your life because you have to go for college if that's your path. And it's okay to change your major or graduate and change, change what you want to do even after that point as well because Realistically, like there's people in their 40s, 50s, 60s that still don't know what they want to do. And I think, I don't know if that's exactly what she was saying, but it's like, 
it's never too late to start over. Don't do things because other people want you to do them. So like, if your parents want you to do this and you just find yourself so unhappy, you're gonna be doing something you're not happy with, all for people that aren't gonna be there living your day-to-day -day life. So it's hard to realize that your parents don't know all because like I remember, I remember like my whole life, not my whole life, I remember like the first half of my life, like anything my parents said or did, like I just thought that was it. <laughs> like they were, you know, they just knew all. So when it, like I finally grew up and realized that like I can make my own decisions and some of them, you know, maybe are better for me than what they had suggested. That's when I really started to flourish. Like when I started my YouTube channel, you think my mom was supportive of that? Like she is the most supportive now and I am so lucky to have her. But like when I first started, that was just not even like that was like a what? What are you doing? Like, you know, it wasn't anything that was like it is today where maybe some parents would be a little bit more, um, okay with it but I decided to do it anyway and look where it took me so it life's all about taking chances and taking risks and even if you fail like a million times it's okay because you're at least trying and I feel like in that failure you could come up with something that is working for you like I know for instance my sister she started at least 10 different businesses trying to figure out what it is that she wanted to do and it wasn't until she started life coaching that she found like what she's meant to do so don't give up on yourself just know that anything is really truly possible like look at me look what i'm doing do you think in a million years when i was 19 20 years old when i was starting that i thought that this could be something so even if everyone calls you crazy listen follow your heart follow your dreams so what i've been doing lately because i love how it looks is taking this like really bright Blush from my dark palette and applying it on my cheeks. So when I was away, I obviously had a natural little flush like this. Um, so it's like, just makes you look like you got a nice tan. I'm gonna do, my lips are so dry. So this is similar to the look from my last vlog. I saw a lot of people asking about it. The lashes that I used are the Kiss Pompadour, but I just cut the edges. They do have some lash extensions left, not much. Other people's opinions of you don't matter. Again, and these are things that I'm still coming to terms with, but it's like, you can try and please everybody, but you're never gonna be successful and it's just gonna be a constant letdown. You have to please yourself, you have to make yourself happy, and you have to not care what other people think because people are always gonna talk. You'll be much happier when you let go of the opinions of others. Just because you are in a relationship, whether it's a year, five months, five years, you don't need to feel stuck. You're never stuck. And it's comfortable to stay, but if you need a change, and you're not happy, and you've exhausted all options, you need to do what's gonna make you happy. Your feelings matter. And I think that's like the moral of the story is like, we forget, we always go to others and we ask other people for opinions about so many things in life. And it's like, when do we actually sit down and ask ourselves, you know, what's gonna make us happy? And that's just something that needs to be done. So my sister is on her way to get me. Just kept it casual with this brown dress and a little sweater. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy New Year. I'm so excited for this year to come and definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. I hope you guys have the most amazing week. I'm sending all of my love to you and make sure to drop some comments below and maybe comment about what we had talked about today in this video, whether it's some things that you wish you knew sooner or some books that you love, really anything. I would love to read them all. You guys know I love talking to you guys on here. So I love you and you're gonna get through this just like I'm gonna get through this, just like everyone's gonna get through it. We all have each other and I'm sending you guys all my love, seriously.